Right here I have this two burner electric cooktop. Let me go ahead and take this out of the package so you can see what it looks like and how it works. This is everything that came inside the box besides the user manual. Essentially right here we have the tools and the equipment that you're going to need to install this, whether you're inserting this into your countertop or you're just using it as a tabletop burner. It does have little rubber feet here with the screws needed to assemble them. If you're just using this on your countertop, which is how I'm going to be using them. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, you can see I just fastened all of these little feet here at the bottom and these are nice rubbery non-slip grips, which is gonna be really nice. I do really like this cooktop, how it is featured as an up and down cooktop here. You can see we have one burner on the bottom and this is the front of the stove with just one single knob as well as some touch selections. And then we have the second burner is gonna be on top of it. So if you have a smaller amount of space in your kitchen and you did want to install this, this would be a perfect option. Or also, if you didn't want to take up as much space and you're using this outside or on your countertop, this is a great option as well. I do like that it has this larger burner as well as a smaller burner. You can see right over here, this shows the two different heating zones so you can select which one you're using. This one up here is obviously going to be the top heating zone and this one is going to be the bottom one. Right here is the power regulating control. So you're just going to use this knob to make your heat selection. And over here is the on and off button. The main request requirement for a pan that's going to work on this cooktop is just to make sure that the base of your pan is smooth and it sits flat against this glass top. You also want to make sure it's the same size as the cooking zone. So if you have this on power level one, two, or three, this is going to continue to stay on for eight hours before it automatically turns off. If you have this on power level four, five, or six, this will automatically turn off after four hours. If you have this on level seven, eight, or nine, it's automatically going to turn off in two hours. So I do like that safety feature. I do like that there is a little heat warning. There is going to be an H that appears just to warn you that the stovetop is hot. I did want to note that this power cord is a 110 volt outlet plug. And just for your reference on sizing, this is going to be 11.4 inches across down here and 20.5 inches high. And as far as the actual insert sizing, the insert sizing, since it's a little bit smaller down here, is going to be 19.3 inches high and 10.6 inches across here. I'm going to go ahead and boil a pot of water on this burner right down here. So I'm going to push the on and off button to power it on and I'm going to select this lower burner and then it shows you right here what heat setting you're having it set to. So I'm going to have it on the highest heat setting just because I'm going to be boiling water. And I have my pan right here. I'm just going to set it right down here. And I have three cups of water in here. So let me go ahead and bring this to a boil. I decided to go ahead and put a larger pot on the back burner at the same time. You can see about how much water I have in here. It's about two inches from the bottom of the pan. So now that I want to use the top burner as well, I'm going to select that one and bring this one up to the same temperature as well. Okay, I'll check back in when they come to a boil. So you can see that both of these pots of water have come to a boil. This one is at a rolling boil and this one is really close to it. Overall, I love how convenient this cooktop is. I love that it has the smaller burner as well as the larger burner just to be able to meet all of my needs. I also really like that it has a kit to be able to install this burner to the countertop if you choose to do that. And I also like the option of using this on top of your countertop as well. This is definitely going to be a game changer, especially holiday time when we just need a couple more burners in the house to to prepare all of the different types of food.